On the day of the Wise game, we were so pumped up, ready to go. It was an exciting game. I was ready to lead my uh, young men into the, into the field. Coming out that tunnel, that first step, uh, you know, I had tore my Achilles. And uh, I felt a pop. I felt, it felt like somebody stepped on my ankle. And, uh, but you know what? Uh, things like that happen. I got my crutch and we just continued and finished the game. It was really tough. Uh, it came down to the last play. Going back and forth in my mind, should I, I had another play? Should I call it another play? I should have called a better play. Should've called a better play. But, you know, uh, we made a decision to go for it, go for the W. Look, I'm proud of y'all, man. That's how you got them. It's just maybe next time we could have, be more prepared with a better play and execute that play. I feel like our team is doing a really good job, doing an excellent job on the football field. But as you know, it's not, it's not always about what's the, how many games you won or uh, you know if you're going to win the championship or not. It's about the academic part. Kater Moody, what's up, man? You know, how can we get them to where they need to go? That's what we really live by here at Flowers. How's your grades going? Because your prize course just came in, so what's going on with that? We're here to teach them. We're here to mold them. We're here to to build these young men into men and have them be successful at the next stage in life. Right? So you're doing an excellent job. You're taking a lot of courses, honors courses, and also doing some dual enrollment courses which helping your GPA. So your GPA is at a 3.7, which is a good. After high school, I am planning on pursuing the cybersecurity field. Uh, I really want to be a, a network administrator. But what the colleges are going to start looking for is your core courses, okay? So you're talking about your Spanish, your, your English course, your science course. Academically, I have a 3.8 GPA. I'm a 3D scholar for this school. It's a unique program where we do dual enrollment and they give us a scholarship to go to PGCC for our junior and senior year. Once we graduate, we have another scholarship that takes us to UMD. I was not born into a football family. I actually started playing football 10th grade year. I'm not scared. I think you're scared. When I first came to my first workout, I was about to quit. Whew, I was gonna quit. I hated the way I felt. You know, it's pain. Nobody likes pain, but at the same time, I loved the environment. It was a family. You like two days <laughs> yeah. Chill, 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 chill. Well, yeah, football taught me a lot of things. Mental discipline, that's one thing we're really big on. Even though I still have a lot to learn about the discipline, but you know, we're really big on discipline, trust, um, trusting your brothers, your coaches to put you in the right place, trusting your brothers to help you out. Football kept my mind on track. It, it helped me focus on school, focus, focus at home, you know, accept responsibilities. I go to work at Smash Mobile House. It's a it's a rage yep. room, as they call it. What we got planned today? So, we got the sledgehammer, the crazy bat, and the mannequin hand. You know, when, I, when nobody's here, you know what I'm saying? That's my secret, right? I like to walk around with it like it's a, it's a uh, walking stick, you know what I mean? 
make me feel like I'm diesel or something. You know? It's more it's more so about, you know, breaking, expressing your feelings. You could just come there to exercise, you come there to have fun. Alright, welcome to Smash. This is a rage room. Be prepared, communicate, make sure you guys are ready to throw objects. I use the room when I feel like I feel stressed. When I feel like I have no control over a situation and I just have to be patient about it. I don't do it often, but when I do, that's when, that's what happens. You know? If it wasn't really for football or the organization that kept me, my mind, you know, focused and saying I have to do certain things, I have to act a certain way because, you know, it's bigger than you, I really wouldn't, I really wouldn't be amount to much, like, outside of a court to my family. I wouldn't, because Powell is a, He's a, he's like um, an older brother, uncle, and a stepfather, like all in the same way. He would talk to you like you're his son, but then he would, you would have to respect him in a way you would respect a father figure. And all you gotta do is delegate, okay? okay? So if you delegate- And then at the same time, he would act comfortable with you like an uncle. Let's get better next time. He's taught me a lot of things. And that's our head coach, Ryan. Like, yeah, he's 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 the guy. You watching PG thirteen, twenty twenty one.